Hi there. In this tutorial, we are going to see that how can we create our self VPS server in the in our machine by the virtualization technology like VirtualBox. Actually, when we buy any VPS server from any cloud services like Google Cloud Service, Amazon EC2, Microsoft Azure, or others like DigitalOcean Linux, we have our virtual box available from that service but in that case if you don't have the, the one we will create one from the virtualization technology in our local machine here i am using virtual box so i need two things one is the any virtualization software and another is the operating system ios so i already download my operating system ios so let's install ubuntu for these services for testing let's create one here i can choose 20 uh, 2404 actually 2404 did i have this one no okay now Ubuntu uh, Linux next I 1 GB is enough but I am using 2 GB RAM and create virtual box and dynamic and now where is our file ISO file stored it, it will start in my home directory you can change your location and here I can give 50 GB though it is not required but I am giving extra now my virtual box is created now let's start our virtual box now if you have to choose the uh, your iOS image here I am using Ubuntu so I has this one if you don't have you can choose from here I am choosing my one and now start try It takes a little bit time. Now I am choosing the default English layout language and I do not need to update, so I will update later and then the layout and and then i am using the ubuntu server that is the not the minimum one so i am using the default one and here i have to choose my ip address i will you will configure the ip address a little bit later just using the defaults and again next now here i am using the virtual box so i can use my whole disk that is 50 GB that we uh, set in the beginning and this was my file uh, structure now continue now here I have to put my details it is optional but it is required so my server name will be like Ubuntu server let's lts dot l o g i n log blue one to server and my username actually username this username and password we need to log in in our server now i need a ssh service 
though we can install it later but i am use checking this services so because we can access our server by ssh connection and continue no need anything extra now done now it will take little bit time to complete the installation process so i will pause so that when uh, our post, uh, installation complete i will come back now our installation is done it says that view logs or cancel update and reboot here i am uh, cancelling the update and i am trying to reboot my device because we will update later so it takes little bit time view the log okay close the log now actually it takes a little bit time but our installation is complete so i can close the wizard from here manually now this time if i open my server again Uh, optical drive remove dot optical drive and reset now we can see our server is up and running now i can log in with my credentials that username now i am in my server so if i type ip address i can see my ip address so my installation process is done in next tutorial we are we are going to see that how can we configure our uh, networking connectivity so let's see in the next tutorial